Hi, welcome to another video on Image R. My name is Steven. I will explain you today how we create LED lamps with images. Let's go. I will use an image from our website called laser-pix.com. You can download already prepared images for engraving or the originals in high quality. I really recommend to check it out since it is completely free. Link in the video description. After we found an image, I click on it and download the original image. Now we prepare the image in image-r.com as usual, since we want to have the best quality for our engraving. Let's upload the image and start with cropping the unnecessary areas. With the image R crop function, this is done in a few seconds. In resize, I will choose the millimeter measurement and change the width to the size I need. The height calculates automatically. For DPI, I use 318, since that's the result from the DPI test I made. If you're unsure about your DPI settings, watch the video in the top right corner. Great. Now I will increase the gamma value a little bit and sharpen my image with the Sharpen Method 2 on Image R. At the end, I clean the image with the denoise function. For my acrylic image, I will use the Casia Acrylic algorithm since I get the best results with it. As you see, Image R already mirrored, inverted, and dithered the image, exactly what we need for acrylic. At the end, I will save the file as PNG and check the preview on Image R. Now I create the frame for the cutting part. I will use Coral Draw and my Outline plugin, which you can buy as well on DesignGecko, link in the description. After you imported the image, click on the plus sign and add the Macro Manager. Now we click on VBA and add our VBA script called Outline R. Open the plugin and click on the image so it is selected. Click on Select as SVG to load the image properties and then create outline and rectangle to start the process. I don't need that much space between image and border, so I change the offset to 3 mm instead of 20. Now let us use a bigger value for the top rectangle. The bottom rectangle should have the exact size of your LED socket. Now we increase the top rectangle size until it crosses the edge of the border around the image. We are talking about this point here. Merge and finalize to finish the outline process. I will delete the image and export the border as AI file. Open your laser software, in my case RD Works, and import the image we saved from Image R. After, import the frame we saved from Coral Draw. Make sure the position of the frame is correct and set them on two different color patterns so you can set the right settings for each. Change the priorities, so at first engrave the image and then do the cutting. For the image, I will use 500 mm per second, 11% minimal power and 13% maximal power. On RD Works, you have to set the step interval manually by double-clicking on the image layer and change the step interval according to your DPI settings. For 318 DPI, it is 0.08 mm. You can find the DPI list in the video description. For cutting, I will use 10 mm per second and 40% power. I'm using a 80 watt CO2 laser for this project, and the acrylic has a thickness of 4 mm. Finally, we can run the job. After the engraving process, I use a soft brush to get rid of all the dust on the acrylic. I used a piece of duct tape to remove the acrylic. To avoid fingerprints, I used gloves, and I really recommend that. For the cleaning process, I use isopropyl in a spray bottle and a microfiber cloth to avoid any scratches. Now we can finally remove the foil from the back of the acrylic. We use a normal LED base from Amazon to light our acrylic plate. Last step is to put the acrylic in the LED base, light it up, and be happy. As you see, the result looks absolutely perfect. No scratches, no stains, perfectly lighten up. 
I hope you enjoy this video and looking forward to your LED lamp creations. Please subscribe our channel, like, and comment the video so we are motivated to keep on grinding. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.